Before we continue, let's install DHCP server on our domain controller. So if you look at this network diagram, so we already promoted the Windows 2012 to a domain controller. Now let's install the DHCP server on the same box. So DHCP server is responsible for giving or handing out IP addresses to the clients and other systems in the same network. So any system that are connected to this lab will be given an IP address by our domain controller. So we will install the domain controller, give it a range of IP addresses it can hand out and then we will also test it out using one of our client systems. So if we connect to DC, let's go full screen mode. So any tool or roles you install, you can go to dashboard here and click add roles and features. You can also go to manage and you can add roles here. So click next and make sure that you are pointing to the right system and you can find DHCP server which is right here and you can say add features click next you don't have to change anything here let's continue so it is recommended to restart the destination server if it's required Okay, so it is succeeded. So let's close this. So like we saw last time, you will see an exclamation mark right here. So click on that to complete the installation. So click next. And we will use the same credentials as the administrator and commit. So it says both are done. So now we can close it. So now the DHCP server is installed on this machine. 